I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Python playlist and we're going to take a look at how to make a word cloud. Now, word clouds are really cool because they're very visual, a very nice graphic that you can use to uh, evaluate a paragraph or a sentence or whatever and take out the most important words and make those more visually sort of prominent so that users get an idea uh, of how a particular paragraph is constructed. Let's get to it. Want to buy me a coffee? Just click that super thanks button down below. Okay guys, we're going back to our visuals today. We're going to start a new Python file here. I'm just using idle shell. You can use uh, whatever uh, Python programming ID you're using at the moment. And I'm just going to save that so that we've got something to work from. And that's going to be called wordcloud.py. And we are going to get going here. Now, before we get going, you are going to need to pip install wordcloud. Make sure you run that from your command window there. And you'll probably need to pip install matplotlib if you don't have that one already. So make sure that you get that one as well and we can get started here. So we'll do an import statement from word cloud, import word cloud, that's pretty easy. And then we'll do uh, import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. And that's gonna give us something to work with for our visual. And of course, the next thing we'll need will be some text. And so we're gonna create a text variable here and we'll do a text block. We're gonna grab some text. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste in a paragraph here from uh, Notepad and uh, I'll just paste that in there. There we go. So we've got Python is an amazing programming language. Data science with Python is fun, etc, etc. And uh, it talks about the word cloud library as well. And this will kind of give us an idea of what we're dealing with when we want to start visualizing. So let's go ahead and create our word cloud variable here and we'll say word cloud is equal to word cloud. We're going to use that word cloud import that you see at the top there and uh, we're going to add a dot generate to the end of this but I'm just going to close those brackets uh, and we can add our width. So we can add a bunch of different uh, parameters here. You can look it up on on the uh, word cloud site uh, but we're going to use the width is 800 we'll do height 400 and we'll do uh, you know maximum font size that'll cap the total like the biggest size of words in your in your visual and then we'll do uh, the maximum number of words is going to be 50 so we'll plot 50 and then uh, we'll set the background color to white and uh, that's going to give us sort of like the basic you know variables that we can use with word cloud so we're going to do width we're going to do height maximum font size uh, words and then we'll do the background color and uh, that's going to get us started next we're going to use the generate method from our uh, word cloud object there so let's go ahead and add that so we'll do generate uh, and then we're just going to put in the text so we're going to do generate based on the text that we have as our argument here. And uh, that is going to give us a word cloud uh, uh, object that's loaded and ready to go. So that's the text. We're going to be using that text uh, variable there. Um, it's all of that stuff about Python. And we're using that generate uh, dot generate. So that's going to give us our word cloud object. And uh, from there, we can go ahead and we can plot that. And so we can use matplotlib we'll use pyplot uh, in this case. I'll go ahead and plot.figure and we'll do a figure size of 10, you know, 10 by 5. That's going to give us a sort of rectangle. And uh, then we can do our im show. So that'll be our image. Uh, we're going to do plt.imshow and th then we'll put in our word cloud object. And we're going to put in our uh, interpolation as uh, bilinear in here. That's going to sort of help it with resizing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, bilinear is kind of a good one for uh, word cloud. And uh, so that's going to be a nice way to put that one together. And then we'll set our axis to off because we're not really going to display an axis on this uh, on this visual. 
and we'll go ahead and show our image. So we'll do uh, plt.axis off and then we'll do plt.show. That's going to actually show it uh, to us. It's going to do a pop-up pop window or if you're using you know, Jupyter Notebook, it'll show in, in another uh, pane or if you're using, you might be using another uh, IDE, it'll show in, sometimes there's uh, an image area that that these will show in. In this case, ours is going to pop up on screen, and that's all you really need to do to plot your figure uh, using matplotlib. Uh, we have our show command at the bottom there, and we are looking pretty good. So let's just add a couple of comments in here, uh, just so that we've got those for each of our code blocks there. So we'll do a nice couple of comments. That's going to help us to understand better and uh, once we've got everything ready to go let's save our file and we'll hit f5 and you can also use the run the run uh, menu there but there we go we've got our word cloud that looks pretty cool we've got python in there uh, that's the most prominent word in there uh, and uh, you know efficiency programming visualizations libraries you know pandas we mentioned that one um, and that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, we definitely, uh, we can see by looking at the size of the words, how prominent they are, and we can compare that to our, our paragraph that we have, and that's our Python uh, text variable that we created there. Python is an amazing programming language, you know, data science with Python, and then we're, you know, talking about Python libraries like pandas and NumPy and things like that and uh, we can see those in our visualization as well and that's exactly what we want to see and of course we can paste in a different paragraph maybe something about environmental conservation or whatever you know whatever topic that you have like we can save that and we can run it and we get a different word cloud now there's lots of things to look at in a word cloud word placement word size color usage and frequency and context are all sort of like jumbled in there to give you an idea of, of what you know the underlying text is all about but you can get kind of an idea just by looking at it and it's a pretty cool thing pretty cool visual to give to users um, to help them to understand what's going on uh, we could try a different paragraph so let's grab another paragraph here and uh, we'll throw this one in as well. This paragraph is about artificial intelligence. So let's paste that one in. We got AI is trans, you know, transformed various industries, et cetera, et cetera, machine learning. So in talking about efficiency and all kinds of stuff related to AI, uh, let's save that one and run it as well. And we'll get an idea of what we're gonna see there. So that looks quite a bit different obviously because it's a different paragraph and this helps us to sort of get an idea of what it's all about without even looking at the paragraph um, challenges applications you know data sets intelligence decisions and all that kind of stuff so we could grab one more paragraph i got another paragraph and it's about space exploration so we could paste this one in um, this is all about you know going to the stars you know talking about frontiers and telescopes and galaxies and things like that exploration uh, and so let's save that one and run it and get a look at what this word cloud looks like so this one looks pretty cool too you can get a sense of the size of words and the proximity to each other and all those kinds of things and that's really cool um, so what we could do next is maybe take a look at tweaking it a little bit maybe we want a different background or a different color scheme. There's lots of color schemes that you can choose from. I will put a link in the description uh, to a page that has some of the color schemes on it so you can choose those, or color maps, I should say. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put a color map on there. So let's put in uh, just rainbow on there. That's gonna activate the color map setting and uh, that'll give us a different color map. And so there we go, we've got our our rainbow setting that's really bright um, which is kind of cool um, the rainbow is kind of neat we could change our background to black so the rainbow might look better on a black background so let's give that a try so we'll save that hit f5 and boom now we've got kind of this uh, this very rainbowy uh, uh, display on black which is kind of neat as well 
Um, there's a whole ton of these uh, color maps. I'll show you a couple more. Let's check out just Stern. Uh, that's a different one. So we'll, we'll have a little different color palette there. So I'll go ahead and save that. And let's put in our AI paragraph again. So I'm going to grab that one and paste that into our text variable to load that and let's go take a look and see so paste that in we'll save it and uh, and then we can do our run uh, run module uh, you can also just hit f5 but there we go okay so that is a is a different sort of take on it it looks quite different we've got ai in there artificial challenges decision industries transformed etc etc and that is kind of neat. Um, we can also get a different uh, color map for that. Let's choose something different like Twilight. Uh, Twilight R looked kind of cool on the page that I was looking at. Again, you can get that uh, link in the, in the uh, description. And that's kind of a more muted look. But that is how you can do a word cloud visual in Python. Looking for additional resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description.